Hello. Do you know what a legend is? Yes, a legend is a traditional story. It may sometimes be popularly regarded as historical but not authenticated. Have you heard of any popular legends? In India, we have several legends from the Mahabharat, the Ramayana and the Puranas. This poem is based on a legend of the Northland and it narrates how a woman was punished for her greed and selfishness. All right. Do you know anything about the Northland? Northland refers to the northern part of the earth. It is a very cold region. There, the days are short and the nights are long. When it snows, people harness reindeers to sledges and the children in furry clothes look like bear cubs. Once upon a time, when St. Peter lived and preached on earth, he came across the door of a cottage in Northland. He had been fasting all day and was exhausted from walking and preaching. A little woman was baking cakes on the hearth of the cottage. St. Peter asked her to give him a piece of cake. The little woman needed a piece of cake, but as it lay baking, she thought that it was too big to be given away. She kept the cake for herself and needed a smaller one. This too seemed too large to her. Then she took a tiny scrap of dough and kneaded yet another cake. Even though this cake was as thin as a wafer, she could not even give that away. She thought to herself, My cakes that seem too small, when I eat of them myself, are yet too large to give away. And she kept that cake too for herself on the shelf. Don't you think the woman was too self-centered? What would your reaction be if you were in such a situation? We all know that world history and culture is filled with stories about saints and sadhus cursing the evildoers. Let's see what St. Peter's reaction was. He had been hungry and faint with fasting. Still, he had been waiting patiently for just a piece of cake. But now, the greed and selfishness of the woman provoked him. He cursed the little greedy woman and said, You are far too selfish to dwell in a human form. To have both food and shelter and fire to keep you warm. Now, you shall build as the birds do and shall get your scanty food by boring all day in the hard, dry wood. At that moment, her life of comfort as a human being came to an end. Her scarlet cap retained its color, but all her clothes were burnt black. She was transformed into a woodpecker and flew up through the chimney. Now, school kids see her in the wood, where she lives even today, boring for her food. Thus, the greedy woman got what she deserved and was punished for her misdeed. So, what did you learn from the lesson? We need to understand that if we are capable, we must try to help others. We gain nothing in life by being selfish and greedy. Vices like selfishness, greed, anger and arrogance only lead to one's self-destruction. If we want to be happy, we must try to eliminate such vices from our lives. Dalai Lama once said, True happiness comes from having a sense of inner peace and contentment, which in turn must be achieved by cultivating altruism, love and compassion, and by eliminating anger, selfishness and greed. Modern society is largely marked by apathy and selfish motives. People are concerned with making money. Virtues such as altruism, love and compassion have little value. However, there are many shining examples of people who dedicate their lives for the service of others without expecting anything in return. What are your thoughts on vices and virtues? Think about it. Happy learning!